Hi, I'm Mrs. Michella, and I teach second grade at McAuliffe Heights. And my name is Miss Imler, and I am Mrs. Michella's student teacher. And I'm Mrs. Bartley, and I teach at Emner. Today, boys and girls, we are going to continue learning about the solar system. You will need your picture that you drew from last week. Okay, so let's review what we learned so far about our solar system. First, we learned about our closest star, the sun. The sun is a giant ball of hot gases, and it provides heat and light for our planets. Next, we have the inner planets. They are the first four in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They're also called the rock planets because they are made up of rock and metal. Next, you drew Jupiter, and Saturn. They are the outer planets. They're also called gas giants because they're made of gas and they're very, very large compared to the inner planets. Today, we are going to continue learning about our outer planets, talking about Uranus and Neptune. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun and is a gas giant. It is named after the Greek god of the sky and it is a light blue-green color. It takes 84 years to orbit around the sun. It has 13 thin rings and 27 moons. The only planet that spins on its side and it is the coldest planet in our solar system. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and is also a gas giant. It is named after the Roman god of the sea, probably because of its beautiful blue color. It takes 165 years to orbit around the sun. Neptune has five faint rings and 14 moons. It has a giant storm called the Great Dark Spot, and it is the windiest planet in our solar system. And now we're going to watch a short video about Uranus and Neptune. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, and I want you to know something. If you only want... Uranus is the only known planet that rotates or spins on its side. A day on Uranus is only about 17 hours. But the tilt of Uranus works out so that one pole or the other is usually pointed towards the sun. This means that a day at the North Pole of Uranus lasts half of a Uranian year, 84 Earth years. So, if you could stand on the North Pole of Uranus, you would see the sun rise in the sky, circle around for 42 years, and finally dip down below the horizon. Then, you would have 42 years of darkness. Discovered by means of mathematics before ever being seen through a telescope, the blue planet Neptune was named after the Roman god of the sea. Its atmosphere reflects sunlight minus the red end of the spectrum. This is how Neptune gets its azure blue color. Named Scooter because of its speed, this small, irregularly shaped, eastward moving cloud scoots around Neptune every 16 hours or so. Neptune is a dynamic planet featuring the strongest winds on any planet in the solar system. 
most of the winds on Neptune blow westward in opposite rotation of the planet. All right, now since we have learned all eight planets, we are going to do a poem called Planet Roll Call. I'll go ahead and read it first, and then I'll read it one more time for you to join in. So here we go. Planet Roll Call. Eight planets around the sun, listen as I call each one. Mercury, here, number one, closest planet to the sun. Venus, here, number two, shining bright just like new. Earth, here, number three, Earth is home to you and me. Mars, here, number four, ready or red and ready to explore. Jupiter, here, number five, largest planet that's no jive. Saturn, here, number six, with rings of dust and ice that mix. Uranus, here. Number seven, a planet tilted high in heaven. Neptune, here. Number eight, with one dark spot whose size is great. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and join in with me for this one. Planet roll call. Eight planets around the sun. Listen as I call each one. Mercury, here. Number one, closest planet to the sun. Venus, here, number two, shining bright just like new. Venus, or I'm sorry, Earth, here, number three, Earth is home to you and me. Mars, here, number four, red and ready to explore. Jupiter, here, number five, largest planet that's no jive. Jive. Saturn, here, number six, with rings of dust and ice that mix. Uranus, here, number seven, a planet tilted high in heaven. Neptune, here, number eight, with one dark spot whose size is great. Very good job, boys and girls. So we have now covered all eight planets in our solar system. And I just wanted to share with you a popular way to memorize the order of the planets. This is actually called a mnemonic device. And it sounds like this. My very educated mother just served us nachos. The my, the word my starts with M as you know, so M stands for the planet Mercury. The word very starts with V, so it stands for Venus. Educated starts with E, so it stands for Earth. Mother starts with M, and it stands for Mars. Just starts with J, and that would be for Jupiter. Served starts with S, like Saturn. Us starts with U, like Uranus. And then Nacho starts with N like Neptune. So again, that's my very educated mother just served us nachos. And that's just a way to help you remember um, the order of the planets. Okay, boys and girls, this completes our lessons on the solar system. So now what I would like you to do is to color a picture of both Uranus and Neptune and put those on your drawing for the week. And now you should have a completed solar system. I hope you learned a lot about the solar system. See you next time.